Hey guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. It's been a minute, or it's actually been like nine months <laughs> since I made a video. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna try to do better. This is me trying to do better. So uh, I wanna kick off 2023 with a little DIY video for you guys. And we're gonna have some fun with piercing jewelry today. So about a year ago, I turned 40 and as a birthday gift to myself, I got my conch pierced. That's this little guy right here inside my ear and I'm wearing some snazzy looking cherries in there right now. And I actually got this piercing with the intent of wearing a ring in it because it looks so goddamn good. Like a lot of photos that you see of conch piercings are with a ring and people do doubles and triples and I had these like big dreams of getting a bunch of them and doing a bunch of rings. Yeah, that didn't happen because you can't sleep on that side of your ear if you have a ring in it because the ring pushes into the piercing hole uh, in a very, very painful, uncomfortable way. So uh, whenever I do wear a ring in my conch, I can't sleep on that side and I have to be able to sleep on both sides or I'm gonna go crazy. I'm one of those toss and turn kind of people. <laughs> um, so, and I can't always be bothered with changing the jewelry like back and forth every single day I like I, I switch it up maybe once or twice a month between different jewelry and I just let it sit uh, so changing it every night before I go to sleep eh, it's a bit of a hassle so I'm gonna try to fix that problem with a sort of backup solution in today's video so for people who would have double nostril piercings a new trend or semi new it's been going on for a while now is to do a chain between the two little studs. Now it looks super cute and I really love it for people who do that. But that got me thinking, you could put chains obviously on other kinds of piercings as well. So what I'm gonna try to do today is add a chain into my conch so that it kind of acts as a ring would, but it'll sit a little bit more loosely, hopefully, which I'm hoping won't hurt as bad to sleep on. I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna sleep on it, then come back later and let you guys know what I thought and everything like that. But yeah, and these are just leftover chains that I've had from jewelry making, so any kind of jewelry chain will do. You can take an existing necklace and just snip it off, or you can just buy chain from a craft store if you like. So I have three different chains. They look like this. Now each little section or each little o-ring can be open and closed so that you can decide what length you want for your chain. Now the uh, jewelry that I have in right now is maybe, per would probably work with a uh, ring, but it's the kind of jewelry where the head is attached to the bar and the ball in the back is what you remove and I think it's going to be difficult to put the chain on from the front to the back, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna switch the jewelry up to the kind where the attachment is in the front instead of in the back like it is right now. I'm using craft pliers or tongs, two of them, to open and close the chain. Okay, so I'm just grabbing the little eyelet that I wanna open with one set of pliers and then grabbing the other side with the other one. And then I've taken the attachment off of this little barbell and I'm just gonna slide the chain onto that. Now you wanna make sure that you have the kind of chain that's not so big that it'll come off of the jewelry. You don't want it to stay on there. And then we're gonna try to insert this from the back, which is not gonna be easy. So let's remove this one first. There you go. And I'm gonna try to find it from the back, which I don't think I've ever done before. I've only used the ones that you put in from the front. Okay, so it's through from the back now. Oh! Oh, I think I got it. Yeah! Okay, so the chain is a little longer than I was hoping for, but I had to add some more oh, little eyelets to it. But yeah, it's on. <laughs> oh, I would love it to be like more up here, but it is what it is. <laughs> My ear is so fucking red. You guys, that took forever. I need to have a sip. 
if you do these kinds of things specifically for a conch and you've made it work, you found the magical formula or whatever for how to make this fucking thing work, would you let me know in the comments, please? And remember, as always, do no harm, but take no shit. I'll see you next time. Bye.